A scientist in Germany thinks he's found the part of the brain where evil lurks. Five bucks says that it is the same part of the brain that tells people to use their mobile phones in movie theaters. Anthony here for D News, wondering what makes people evil? Oh, sure. It sounds like a complex question that would have to factor in someone's upbringing, environment, genetics, personal chemistry, but maybe not. A German neurologist says he's found an evil patch in the brains of violent criminals. It's right here in the lower forebrain, and it shows up as a dark patch between the two frontal lobes on scans. Dr. Gerard Roth has been scanning the brains of murderers and rapists along with people without a history of violence as they're shown films. During particularly brutally violent scenes, the people without a criminal history showed brain activity in that frontal region, but the criminals didn't. No brainwave response at all in that zone. Now, injuries to that part of the brain can cause the dark spot too, and Dr. Roth mentions that tumors that inhibit activity there have been known to cause previously calm people to exhibit violent behavior. So the idea here is that this shows a strong genetic or physical link to violence, and that it could be used to find people who are likely to become criminals and stop it from happening, which is awesome but also really scary. Because it's awesome if we can really identify someone who needs a more supportive environment early on and give them the specialized help we need, but it's scary if this sort of thing was used as, say, submissible evidence against someone on trial, or even possible cause for an arrest. Because even if all criminals wind up having the dark spot on their lobe, not everyone with the dark spot is necessarily a criminal. Now, Dr. Roth is definitely hoping that if his research proves true, it'll be used in a positive way, saying it is the task of society to offer widespread support to these children and their parents before they become criminals. Now, a human being is a complex thing, and I have to wonder if it's really this easy. You just point to the spot on the brain that makes people bad guys? Obviously, there's a lot more research to be done here. I would love to know if the criminals that were scanned always had this spot, or if that area of the brain became deadened over time as they got desensitized to committing crimes and acts of violence. How would you guys like this knowledge to be used in everyday society, or should it be used at all? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D-News.